Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how we can use snow pipe with semi-structured data. Okay, like for example to load JSON or Parquet data. As soon as they come in S3 bucket in a particular place, then if you want to load in a particular Snowflake internal table using snow pipe, how you can do that? Related to that, I am going to discuss in this particular video. Okay, obviously, it will be kind of similar approach what we follow for CSV file, right? But whatever change will happen, that part of alone I will be highlighting in this particular discussion. Okay, and all this course I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section so that parallelly you can also try. Okay, so first step what we are doing, we are dropping a Ramu database. Okay. To make a fresh environment which we are going to use for this particular POC purpose. Okay, Ramu already dropped. Then what we are doing? We are creating the Ramu database and then here we are using that database. Okay, so here if I refresh this particular page, here you will see in Ramu database two schema are basically created. One is information schema, one is public schema. Information schema basically used to store all kind of metadata information for this particular database and public schema basically we can use to create tables, views, materialized views or anything else that can be snowflake stage, pipe, whatever, okay. Right, now see what I am doing. I am basically executing a DDL, create or replace table, okay. JSON pipe testing is the table name. So first let's see how the JSON data looks. If you see this is our JSON data, okay. So basically all the elements are separated by new line character. You can consider here this is one particular JSON complete element. Then this is second row is basically another element like that it is going. And it is having certain set of key value pair like first one is GUID. Then here is active which is basically kind of boolean. And GUID is basically string. Then balance which is again a string. Age is integer. First name is string, last name is string and company is also string. So most of the columns are string type apart from age which is going to be integer as we can understand from fundamental intuition also. It should be integer, it should not be string. Okay. And is active is basically nothing but a boolean data type, true or false type. But for this particular PC, I am considering is active also as string data type. Okay. So based on that, here is the DDL, create or replace table, JSON pipe testing, GUID is fair care, is active fair care, balance fair care, age I am taking as integer and first name, last name, company name. So these are the basically informations which are present as key value pair in that particular file, which we are going to place in S3 and we are going to ingest using copy command, right? And that copy command should be automatically executed using snow pipe. That's what we are going to see finally. Not only that. We added some more information, more columns to get some metadata, okay? Like for example, file name. From which file which is present in external stage, the data is getting ingested in the table, okay? That will be containing in the file name column. Then file row number, okay? One particular row in this particular table is coming from which row of a particular file? If that level of metadata you want to get, then you can keep file row number. It will be giving the row number that is from that particular row in that particular file, the data is coming in this snowflake table. That kind of information you will be having. And then here one extra column I am keeping load timestamp when the data is getting loaded, okay? Which is basically timestamp column and default value we are keeping this one, okay? What we are doing here? We are taking the current timestamp which basically in based on your local time zone it might vary so, so to make it a standard we are converting to no time zone ntz format okay so in snowflake there is tz for time zone then there is ltz there is ntz different timestamp related data types are present right so we are using ntz to make it standardized with respect to different time zone okay ntz means no time zone it is basically standard with respect to whole world you can think so let's execute this create table command and see here it is successfully created. If I refresh this particular one in the public schema, here you will be able to see this particular table got created. Okay. Now coming to the next query. If we execute select query, what will happen? We will get no data because nothing is ingested, right? Now what we are doing here, we are creating a file format. Okay. Because obviously, if you are working with stage, copy command or snow pipe, whatever, 
the file format is required. So I am keeping a simple file format command I am executing which is having the file format name as JSON format and type is JSON. That's what all we are mentioning. And we are executing see file format successfully created. Okay. Then what is the next step we are doing? We are basically creating the external stage. Okay. So for that what we will be doing? We will be going to S3. And then here I will create bucket. Demo YT JSON Snow Pipe. Okay. I am keeping all other properties as default. I am creating the bucket. Right. So I am creating at US is 2 where basically my snowflake account is also located. So the migration will be happening faster. Okay. Right. So here I will be copying this particular S3 bucket name. I will be pasting in the URL section. Okay. Now here I am using credential approach to make connectivity between Snowflake and AWS but you can go ahead with role based authentication also not a problem uh, because this particular user id password based authentication is not that much secure so we should follow role based but anyway for this demo purpose only I am using later I will be deleting all this. Okay. So here let me take AWS key ID and I'll be pasting that here and secret key also I'll be going and taking that so let me minimize this and secret key I'll be copying from okay right and this is the file format JSON format because we are going to mostly work with JSON so I am specifying that here itself and without any further delay let's create this stage and here our stage is created now if I execute list command on stage to list all the files currently we will be getting no data because in this stage nothing is there. All we will do will upload some JSON file okay that JSON file what just now I shown JSON testing one that one will be uploading okay. So here it is uploaded successfully right and then here now if I execute list command we will be seeing this is the file which is present in the external stage okay now in snowflake there is a beautiful feature that is without loading the data specifically in a table you can directly query the data from a particular file which is present in snowflake external stage like this particular file if you want to query without loading the data in explicitly some table you can do that also so directly query execution in snowflake external stage if you want you can execute like this kind of query select dollar one from this stage okay so basically it will be having a variant column kind of key value pair so let me execute that and see here you will be getting the key value pair so if i click on that see age age is 35 which is integer balance balance is string type so like that we are getting not only that you can basically use the key value for extracting the data like how i already discussed earlier in my previous video so like this way select dollar one dollar one is basically the column colon age so if you see inside the dollar one column if you see the first row here age is one key so if you want the value corresponding to the age you can put dollar one colon age similarly you can put dollar one colon balance to extract the balance okay like that we can execute now if i execute that here we will be getting age and here we are getting balance okay but point to be noted Balance is basically string type, but here double quotation is coming. Okay, we know that this is string type, but still double quotation is coming due to external stage. Okay, how the data is stored. Okay, so you can avoid that by simply typecasting this particular dollar one colon balance to fair care. Okay, so here is the code like select dollar one colon age comma dollar one colon balance. Then colon colon is basically used to typecast. Then fair care we are mentioning so that it will be typecasting to fair care from this stage. If I do see here beautifully we are getting the data okay so what is the power you just think without loading the data in a table we are directly querying a file which is present as a raw file raw json file in snowflake external stage okay right and then here if you see this particular table when we executed the ddl here we added file name from which file the data is coming what is the row in the file from which the data is coming this kind of metadata we tried to get right so that also you can get as a default behavior of snowflake 
and that is basically this query select dollar one colon h comma dollar one colon balance we are type casting to fair care and then here this is the variable in which the file name will be stored metadata dollar file name okay from which file the data is coming if you want to know that you can use this particular environmental variable then this is the one another variable metadata dollar file row number that is inside a particular file from which row the data is coming if you want to know then you can use this one and then here we are basically taking the current timestamp which is basically zone dependent local uh, time zone based timestamp we will be getting that one to make it standardized we are using two timestamp NTZ basically we are standardizing that with no time zone timestamp we are converting and then we are querying from the external stage okay so if i execute that here see beautifully we are getting that is from which file the data is coming it is coming from json testing one dot json because that's only the file available in the external stage right and then here from which row we are getting that also we are getting here and the timestamp okay now i hope you are getting what we what we are going to do basically we can use copy command and inside which we can put this kind of select query for all the columns whatever we have mentioned in the table ddl and the whole copy command we can put inside a snow pipe to make the process automated right so like for example if you want to get the complete information uh, if you see this particular data so dollar one colon guid is basically key but guid is having string type nature so we are casting to fair care similarly is active if you see here no need to do type cast because it is having no quotation so I, we are taking as it is then balance is having this kind of quotation and it is string type so we are converting to fair care now age age is integer type so no need to cast anything then first name last name and company name all are string type so we are using colon colon fair care approach and then added the additional metadata information what we want and the timestamp from the external stage so this is the complete select query from external stage file which result set we can load in the table okay which table basically we created here that is json pipe testing okay right i hope up to this it is clear so all we can do we can put this whole query inside the copy command okay copy into our destination table from and then here select query we can put inside the copy command that way the result set of the select query alone will be copied in this particular table so let's see what is the data available in this table select star from this table if i execute so we loaded no data so not, nothing is present now if i execute copy into command we will able to see 42 rows got loaded and error since zero that means no error we have got for loading now if i execute the same code we are able to see beautifully the complete information along with metadata and timestamp okay right and now what we can do we can execute the copy command as a snow pipe code okay and make it automated okay so that is the next step so what we are going to do we are going to create this table again because as we already executed copy command so to give you the demo i cannot reload that so let me delete that one also whatever i am having here so that copy command will consider this also as a new file next time otherwise in the metadata it will be staying and it will not load so yeah that is done so what we can do we can execute create or replace table again so we are creating the json pipe testing table again and now we are creating a snow pipe which is having the name spa okay and auto ingest true so that is the main parameter so that automation will happen as soon as some json file is coming in that place the copy command will be executed which is basically flattening the json and loading it along with its metadata okay right cool so let's execute that and pipes spark created now here we can go to show pipes okay and this is the arn basically okay i can copy this arn control c and here i can go to s3 bucket i will go to properties and then here event notification i'll be adding one event demo snowflake sqs json okay and for the time being i am keeping all object create event but if you want to 
delete some file from S3 and you want to reflect that in Snowflake, then you can check this one also, all object remove event also, so that always the metadata will be synced up with respect to S3 and Snowflake. But this is just a demo, so I am keeping all object create event and SQS I am choosing, I am pasting the SQS ARN and here I am saving the changes. Okay, cool. Now here if I just do See, let's start from JSON pipe testing. Already we executed create or replace command for this table again. So currently no data. Now what we'll do, we'll add files. Okay. So here we'll upload that. So if it not getting loaded, then we might have to try with some other table because sometimes what happens that snow pipe keep track of the metadata that okay if this same file with the same name and in the same table it got loaded once then no, it will not try to uh, reload again so that kind of problem it might face but for some other JSON file obviously it will be working okay so let's wait for some time right and then if you execute distinct file name on this particular table then for the timing you should see only one file name because all the data will be coming from this particular file only right so internally Snowflake use SQS queue. So SQS queue basically use polling mechanism. And as you know that in between successive polling, some time gap is there. So you might face some delay. So let it load. I think it is not loading because the copy command is thinking that it is trying to reload okay because already I executed copy command once so let me do one thing let me give some other name okay so here this is the table let me create and I will try to delete this file once It got deleted. Now I will basically in the pipe I'll be giving this name, okay, keeping all other things unchanged. I will just execute this one once more. And now here if I do show pipes, here we'll be seeing this here and I'll be copying this and here I'll be going to properties and this one I'll edit that. Save changes and then if I go to upload, upload this, it is uploaded. Okay, so now let's query this table which is one. Okay, so the thing is, sometimes this kind of thing happens. Copy comment is thinking, okay, I loaded earlier because while giving the demo what happened that I executed the copy command here right so that's why maybe it is thinking like that way so now we created a new table so here we have not executed copy command anytime it should be loading automatically see it got loaded okay just now this table we created and if I execute select distinct file name we'll be getting only one file okay expand this Select this thing. Why it is not coming? File name. Oh, sorry. Here I have to give one. This is the one. And see, JSON testing one dot JSON because only one particular JSON file is there. Let me upload one same kind of JSON format. JSON testing two. And just see how auto ingest happening. So here it is uploaded. Okay. So currently we are seeing only one file name is there. Now we will see soon the total number of files will get changed. So currently 42 rows only there. And as you see, file name all are JSON testing 1.json only. But currently just now we uploaded JSON testing 2.json also. Okay. 
so basically sqsq will update this particular data also in snowflake near real time so as you can see here as of now 42 rows are there let me keep a note and when you execute a distinct file name then you got only one file but soon we should see more records see now it is 100 rows okay and see json testing 1 is there similarly json testing 2.json is also there so if i execute select distinct file name from this table currently we are getting two files because from from two files from external stage the data is coming and that way you can use snowpipe to basically automatically ingest the json data from external stage to snowflake internal team. okay all these course i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you